So the moment was that um, I was um, studying for my um, um, part two lectures in, in Cambridge, um, Mathematics Tripos, and um, it was um, sort of a quietish time of year, um, and um, I was wandering around the mathematical schools, and I stumbled into a part three lecture given by Dennis Yama on Mach's principle, basically, which is the idea that the distant stars um, have some influence on us in terms of inertia. And this is an idea that inspired Einstein, in fact. And Sharma um, was this amazing lecturer. He just acted out, you know, uh, the effect of a rotating bucket of water, this sort of thing, the classic examples. And uh, I, I was spellbound and decided that um, this was it, you know, gravitation, cosmology, I, the distant stars, I, I, would want, I wanted to know more about that. And at that point, I decided that cosmology was the thing I wanted to do. So from there, I went and spent a year at Manchester. Um, I did a, a diploma type um, degree in astrophysics and then got a fellowship to go to Harvard as a graduate student to my PhD with a cosmologist called David Laser, who at the time was very well known for his um, radical views about cosmology. Um, he believed, for example, um, in a cold Big Bang. Um, this was just about the time when the radiation was being discovered. And so much of the time uh, that I was with him, he was trying to rationalize this away and think of ways to have a cold Big Bang that would produce radiation later on by starlight or something. Anyway, the great thing for me was he was very open to my doing more conventional projects so I, I also jumped on um, um, the new discovery of the cosmic background radiation by Penzias and Wilson in 1964 and started w wondering why was it so uniform, shouldn't there be fluctuations? And I, I, I never looked back. So that was, that was Harvard. I got, I got my PhD after four years and then I did postdoctoral fellowships at Cambridge under Fred Hoyle and at Princeton under Lyman Spitzer two great people at the, of their epochs, and ended up on the faculty of Berkeley, finally. I'm um, a senior fellow at Oxford University um, in the Beecroft Institute for Particle Astrophysics, an institute that I helped to, to found when I was civilian professor at Oxford um, um, in um, the first decade of the century. Um, and um, I am at Paris at the Institut d'Astrophysique, where I do my research. Um, and finally, for three months a year, I have a part-time appointment at the Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore.